Well, you know how YouTube works. If you watch a particular video, it'll the algorithm will then show you similar videos. And I fell into the yoga stretching uh, wormhole. And basically, one thing that I've noticed about these yoga videos is they get a lot of views, millions and millions of views, hundreds of thousands of views. And the women who are in these videos are regular women. They aren't famous or anything. They aren't models. And they're making a lot of bank through monetization from yoga stretching videos. And at first I was thinking, hey, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Women and men and people in general love yoga. There's a community of people out there in the world who like stretching routines. And, you know, people are health conscious and things like that. And they want to be fit. And then I started looking through the comments of these videos. And basically I realized that the fan base and the people who, the audience of these videos are not health conscious people. It's a bunch of horny men. So, yeah, it's just like this. You know, YouTube is basically unintentionally... You know, it's like a, a community of, like, soft porn, basically, <laughs> you know? I'm, it's, it's, it, it's really, really something, you know? You watch these videos, and yeah, these women are legitimately fit. They're doing real yoga routines and things like that, but their fan base, you know, it, it, it's just a funny thing that I had to make a video about. You know, these women are bending over and stuff like that. And it's just, it's, it's, it's really something. Like, you see a video like this, right? And it makes you wonder, did she intentionally make that her thumbnail because she wants to promote her videos to health-conscious women who want to learn how to do stretching exercises on a ball? Or do they know that their fan base is 100% men and they look at it like, hey, I'm into yoga, I'm into fitness, hey, am I, if, if, if there's a bunch of horny men out there who are willing to watch my videos, hey, I, I'm going to do the yoga stretching exercises every day anyway, might as well make some videos, monetize them and get 1.9 million views. Because these aren't how-to videos, they're not like explaining to you, okay, this is what you do, you do it like this, you do it like that. They're just stretching and watching. But, I, I, like I said, I'm not accusing these women of uh, intentionally, uh, you know, sexualizing their yoga routines. I'm just saying that it's funny that the majority of their fan base, the majority of the people in their comments, the majority of their subscribers are horny men who are commenting things like, love these yoga exercises. They certainly send the right amount of blood flow to the right part parts of your body. And I'm like... Hold on, man. These videos are supposed to be for women who want to learn how to stretch and do fitness routines at home. So I just, you know, it's just a funny thing, man. It's like, um, it's funny. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, am I wrong or am I just overthinking? You know? Am I overthinking? A lot of these girls are models, by the way. A lot of these girls are models, and, you know, models, they exercise, they do yoga and things like that. And, um, yeah, it just makes me think, hey, is this intentional, or is this just, uh, women doing yoga? They're not thinking about sexualizing themselves. They're just recording videos of them doing fitness exercises. Yes, they're wearing very sexy outfits, and they are wearing outfits that since that accentuate their 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 butts and their bodies they're showing a lot of camel toe but hey they're not trying to sexualize themselves it's the men's faults it's their fault the audience the men for sexualizing them they're corrupting fitness <laughs> peace